On this special edition of the Seaco Sports Forum, we have a special guest, the retiring athletic director for Exeter High School, Bill Ball. This is it, an end of an era. Coach Bill Ball, and today you become just citizen Coach Ball. <laughs> you, you've been the athletic director here for how many years now? 26. 26, and, and you remember the first day that you got that? That promotion? I do. I do. I remember it well and uh, was very grateful for the opportunity and um, continue to be to this day. Um, a, a great, great run. Uh, said it many times, uh, my life has been enhanced professionally and personally by this job. And you took over for another legendary athletic director, Cass Donovan. We just celebrated here with the track, you know, dedicating the track to her just a few weeks back. Um, how was that transition? She was, you know, Cass, uh, an icon in her own right. And she was so good to myself and all the other coaches and athletes and students. Her impact on Exeter High School was truly profound. Uh, I was lucky, she really, mentored me along the way um, before she actually stepped aside. So that helped my transition greatly. And certainly having somebody like Kristen Morissette in the office at the time when I came in, in for the last quarter century, um, it's really worked, it really worked well for me. And you've developed your own team here. And yeah. Family, let's call right. it a family, not yeah. a team, a family. Um, Explain to the, the audience what duties fall under the auspices of athletic director at a high school. Yeah, you know, you're, you're in charge of, um, you know, obviously scheduling practices and games and, and uh, you're in charge of all aspects of coaching, um, um, student athletes, um, from academics all the way through to performance on the field and all in between. Um, it's, it, it, it's, it, it's, there's a lot there, but when you deal with the student athletes that I had the fortune of dealing with, and the, in particular, the support from the parents in this SAU 16 area, it's, it's made it enriching and, uh, for myself, I know that. And you work along with or alongside other athletic directors, obviously coordinating scheduling and all, all the time. that. Yeah. Uh, all yeah. the time, all the time. You know, little things, but um, you know, bad weather in in the winter. What what do you do? Uh, mm. Tough calls. Two inches of snow, three inches of mm. snow. Slippery roads. Um, you know, um, early morning hockey practice at five thirty. <laughs> when do you make that call? You have to make it the night before. You're looking at it. And you, get, you, you wake up at four in the morning, you, you, you look out the window, you take a ride, things are okay, they're not okay. Um, those are the things that, that, that weigh heavily right. on, on me, I know that, because uh, obviously it involves safety quite a bit. Yeah, safety is a big factor in, mm -hmm. in, in, in just about every business, but right. in particular the safety of all these students right. that you're involved with, and coaches. Mm -hmm. And that's what I wanted to bring up. I know the. Fellow coaches that you've uh, hired over the years here at Exeter High School have uh, stayed a part of the Blue Hawk family and uh, um, have set up some very successful sports programs here. You've been very, very fortunate. Yeah, you know, it goes back and, you know, Jimmy was here for 40 plus, Kevin McQueen, I'd say high 20s, maybe 30. Jeff Holmes, he's, he's getting up there. I think he's 27, 28 mm -hmm. now. Right. Um, you know, Kristen. 25, um, and, and Debbie Grotz getting up there now when she took over for Sue Garneau. Uh, Megan Young has had a run in the half. Um, you know, there's been a lot. There's been a lot of coaches. Joe Scazzatelli has been with our track program for a long time, and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure I missed a few, but uh, longevity has been, has been a staple and has been good to us. Well, I think from what, having spoken with other coaches here, they appreciate the open door policy with you as athletic director too. It's not, you, you don't dominate 
their coaching styles. No, no, and 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 you know, I mean, it's like it's like anything. It's um, you know, I think coaching myself helped. You know, it, it right. gives you greater insight into a lot of the dynamics um, and talking, communication, understanding that people are fallible, they make mistakes, and, and um, sometimes you have to correct those mistakes and mm -hmm. you have to get better, right? We talk to kids all the time about getting better athletically. Sometimes, you know, all of us, myself included in football, mm -hmm. we have to get better and continually strive to do so. Now, what was the first sport you coached here at Exeter High School? Actually, it was uh, freshman basketball. The freshman basketball, mm -hmm. okay. And then uh, when the football came right in after, with, with Dick was, Eustace yep, yep. as an yep. assistant coach. And yep. uh, yep. so uh, over, so how many sports in total you've coached here? It's, uh, it's funny, I coached uh, my first year, I ended up coaching spring track. A um, fellow by the name of Rick Jordan, they had to step out late, asked me to step in, and I, I did that for a spring. Um, then I found the lacrosse field. And, um, <laughs> um, but uh, I loved coaching basketball here. Uh, I did it for, I think, 22 years, freshman in JV, and a lot of fun, a lot of fun memories. Well, also, you're, I think you're proud of the fact that uh, Exeter High School established uh, a unified basketball program that you and Sharon Orchard have uh, really done well with the, with it's been the great. community it's been great. here. And unified soccer, unified basketball, uh, inclusion, um, students helping students, um, really rewarding, especially, you know, when you, when you see those small victories mm -hmm. that are, that are, that in other people's minds sometimes are, makes their day, you know, yeah. a, a basket or a this right. or that or a great assist or, um, no, that's been, that's been a really positive for me and it probably, you know, really carried me the, you know, the last five or six years. So that's been a lot of fun. It's fun watching the kids. Right. The unified and sports. You can't say enough about Sharon putting that together. She does a great job. Uh, now, somebody asked me, we talked a couple of years ago, and they said, gee, you never asked the coach, well, what sports did you play in high school and college? What did high you school, excel? high school, Melrose High School. And, and, I played f football and basketball. Football and basketball. Yep. Yeah, yeah. and, and what about college? No. 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 Just, no. Now, what was your, uh, of those two, even Stephen, you liked the both? Football. Yeah, or about football? Mm -hmm. now, so, and I, I want to concentrate today, we'll, we'll do a football show later because mm -hmm. I want to make it clear to folks, you're staying with us as the head coach of the football team for right. many years to come. But to just to uh, get back to the start with the program, when you started with uh, Dick Eustace and then worked your way up as the head coach, um, I, I also, we had that 97 championship team. We were just talking about that. We've got that coming up right. uh, soon to uh, Blue Hawk Media and Exeter TV. Uh, you've had a, quite a good run with the football over the years. But I mean, go back to the athletic director part of your, your job. Um, how complicated trying to juggle those two? Yeah, I mean, long days. Um, um, but again, being directly involved, I think sometimes gives you a little bit better insight into the world of it when you live it yourself a little bit. Um, but yeah, I mean, you get out of football practice at seven o'clock and you walk into the stadium, you got a soccer game at, at seven <laughs> o'clock and well, being home at 7.15 now turns into 9.15, 9.30. It's, it makes for a long day and a very understanding wife and my wife, Lori, she's terrific and uh, su says supporting me all the way and very grateful for that. And back to the, uh, I used the phrase earlier, open door policy. Now, uh, does it ever hit you that your years as an educator, coach and athletic director, the effect that you've had on the student athletes here in Exeter High School and, and their development as adults and parents? Yeah, you know, it's, it, it, it's been the last couple of weeks of getting a lot of correspondence from former students, not only athletes, but um, young people that I have back in the old Exit area, junior high school, and uh, 
that's been very nice and uh, very much appreciated. Uh, even this basketball camp we're presently running right now, that started 45 years ago. Wow. Um, you know, a lot of the parents bringing the kids in <laughs> attended that, the Blue Hot basketball camp. Right. So it's kind of gone full circle right. a little bit. Generational thing. Generational. I know when we were talking to Chris Bartell, that championship team, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, he said he has six kids and they're all coming through the system. So you know, he's he proud of that too. And, right. uh, I, I went on the NHIA website. Uh, well, this is material that when you were enshrined into the Granite State Hall of Fame. And I just want to read some of the quotes they had there. Uh, and again, I'm quoting it. It's safe to say that few individuals have had such a profound and lasting impact upon the greater Exeter community. And as stated by one of the, your fellow coaches, Bill Ball develops the whole student athlete in terms of character, commitment, and sportsmanship. And to these values, he is uncompromising for they reflect his own character and philosophy. Uh, more than just student athletes, Bill's players are expected and called upon to be leaders beyond the walls of the high school. And this expectation transcends the football program due to Bill's role as the athletic administrator. I'm going to just give a little bit more here as it says, as evidence of this, Exeter High School has been awarded the NHIA sportsmanship banners and it shows a collective commitment by all of Bill's coaches to practice what Coach Ball directly preaches to his football team. While wins are great and losses hurt, to Coach Ball nothing is more important than the lessons learned through sports and their application to life beyond high school. But before you comment, I wanted to ask you one more at the commencement for the uh, class of 2024 here at Exeter High School. You were the keynote speaker. And uh, your, one of your final lines, maybe it was the final line was, as you progress, remember, respect can't be purchased. Talk about how you look towards the future and these young people that are gonna be adults and parents. Yeah, I think, you know, I think the word that, listen to what you said, that stuck with me is the word collective. And it's all encompassing. Um, it has been a collective effort from the coaches in the fall, in the winter, in the spring, uh, their commitment to the student athletes, their commitment to their programs. It's not a commitment that's seasonal. It, it, it goes beyond. It's, it's helping kids get into college. It's helping kids that might be struggling in different ways. It's applauding, you know, when they do well academically or, you know, a random act of kindness, um, all those things mm -hmm. play in, uh, you know, that we, we pay respect during Memorial Day to our, mm -hmm. to our, uh, our fallen. And, um, and that's, that's just, that's just, um, that's, that's expected. And that's something that comes from the households, to be honest with you, parents, they, that's how these kids have been brought up. They're respectful. They they know the difference between right and wrong, and uh, I say it all the time. I I've been incredibly fortunate to have wonderful parents and a great administration, and it continues to stay with um, our present superintendent, and and uh, it goes back. And SAU 16 is a place where people want their kids to attend and go to school. And you left quite a legacy. You really have. You know, that's nice to hear, but I'll be honest with you, I think if anyone really has benefited from that, it's myself. Um, I've been in a lot of different situations, a lot of, um, so many fond memories of um, whether it's to go to a, a young person's Eagle Scout ceremony or celebrate things that are non-athletic, that mm -hmm. have nothing to do with sports, but are a part of this culture of this school. That's, that's been incredibly rewarding. I want to ask you just to give people a, a, a preview of the, your successor that's going to be coming in to replace you. Excited about that. Kathy Claremont, she, she is incredibly competent. Um, She's committed to the students of the school. I think she'll be a, a student first athletic director. Um, um, she'll be a, 
a solid, strong voice for Exeter Athletics and Exeter High School. She'll work well with the other administration. She already has in her previous capacity. So I see a very, very seamless transition for her. Well, we want you to be able to enjoy some quality time with your wife, Lori, and I know uh, you've got your son, Billy, and daughter, Patty, and especially the grandkids. Um, I know I've got six grandkids in Ohio and four here in New England, and I'm hoping that when they get to high school, that they have an educator slash coach with the qualities you have, sir. I appreciate that. And uh, I make it clear, we look forward to many Blue Hawk football seasons to come with Coach Bill Ball on the sidelines. So see you in the fall. Thank you, Sherm. Thank you for all the years as athletic director, but like I say, see you in the fall. Thanks very much. Be sure to subscribe to Exeter TV on YouTube and hit the bell to get notified about new episodes of the Seco Sports Forum and other local content. Follow the Sports Forum team behind the scenes on our Facebook and Twitter pages and send us your game footage and photos to our email. That's secosportsforum.extv at gmail.com. This is Sherm Chester inviting you to join us for the next edition of the Seco Sports Forum. Coach, when you were on our Seco Sports Forum a while back, that was the most watched episode and listened to episode that we've ever had. And I have a going away present for you. And it's to commemorate it, it's a prototype. This is the one and only Seco Sports Forum official t-shirt. I want to present to you. <laughs> well, I appreciate that very much. We appreciate the people that watch it and uh, we appreciate you being on That's awesome. the Seco Sports Forum. Thank you so but much. We'll be, we'll be back doing more with you in the future. We will do that. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.